Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Strategic Command World War II, World at War. This is episode number 83 of our Let's Play series, where we're playing as the Allies. We're into the middle of 1946. The situation in Western Europe is largely unchanged over the last few uh, turns. The Germans continue to try to attrit our fleet with submarines. They've sunk a couple of heavy cruisers, although we've sunk a fair number of destroyers and submarines. Uh, they have also launched an invasion of Western India that we have so far bloodied their nose a bit, destroying a heavy tank unit and continuing to try and uh, limit the ability to invade out of Iran. Uh, but the real news in this game is the situation in Japan, where while things have stagnated in the West due to an inability so far for the Germans to mount an invasion of England, the Allied armies continue the march toward Tokyo. We have taken Nagasaki, Hiroshima, o er, Osaka, and just last turn, Kyoto, and we are now on the doorsteps of of Tokyo. We'll see if we're actually able to make it into the city this turn uh, and uh, and make any progress there or uh, if we can get at least up to the suburbs of Tokyo. Tokyo is a two-city hex uh, and so we've got a bit of work to do to take it. The capital is in the eastern portion of the city and so it's unlikely that even if we get to the city we're probably not going to be attacking it this turn. This turn is most likely going to be sort of whittling down the forces to get us to that adjacent hex to Tokyo but we'll see how things play out uh, in this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. This is taken from a live stream, so I'll step back, turn it back over to the live stream, and catch you guys at the end. Oh, wait. Britain should probably purchase some stuff, right? Uh... Okay. And now, we'll move forward. Did I? I did China, right? No, I didn't. I forgot about China. Okay. Come on, do something! That attack did nothing. Uh, let's bring our special forces to bear. Also, uh, the Germans might attack us from... Actually, China's not at war with Germany. That's interesting. Huh. War in the Pacific as detailed as this or more simplified? War in the Pacific is way more detailed than this. I'm assuming you're being sarcastic, like? War in the Pacific is, like, a million miles more detailed than this. War in the Pacific models, like down to some units company level individual rifle squads within battalions and regiments and divisions every single fighter squadron all of that stuff's abstracted in this game every single ship is modeled in war in the pacific like down to individual cargo ships and the war is fought in one day turn increments not two week turns and i love it Um, Spanish Republicans attack installations in Catalonia. Good for them. Keep fighting the good fight, boys. All right. Partisan activity. UK convoys. Science progress. Anti-submarine warfare development. All right. So the British get ASW level 2. That'll be helpful. Also command and control level 2, which may or may not be helpful. I'm not quite sure. I don't know that I have armies large enough for that to matter a whole lot. Yeah, like, I mean, Gary Grigsby games are... If you're looking for something less intimidating than something like Harpoon, I'm not sure I would recommend Gary Grigsby games. I love the damn things, but uh, they're certainly a challenge. We're going to lose another goddamn heavy cruiser. They're going to attrit our fleet into nothingness with their stupid submarines. My destroyer didn't even do anything. I thought if it was adjacent, it would interdict it, but they must have already had line of sight on it, so it doesn't trigger the surprise, I guess. Okay, so they're reinforcing the unit that's east of Kyoto. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Good job, AI. More bombing raids here into Burma. Not actually doing a whole lot. Two attacks against those special forces didn't yield any results, although these attacks, I shouldn't have said that. They're whittling this guy down to almost nothingness. V-weapon attacks on London, Norwich. 
Norwich again. Heavy artillery against our tanks here. Not sure if the tank supply will drop to one immediately or if it'll wait till next turn. I'll have, I guess we'll find out. Some, some fighting in western China. The nationalists are hanging in there. Yeah, I mean, like, I've done a bunch of videos on War in the Pacific. Uh, XTRG has some incredibly detailed videos on War in the Pacific. So, certainly something worth checking out if you're interested. I think the sale, it's like 16 bucks right now. So, it's it's definitely, if it's something you're interested in, now is the time to buy. That's for sure. It's usually like 80 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that the sale, they have the date on the website. I think it's like... Well, I'm not sure. If it's a Christmas sale, it might be all December, but I'm not again, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Stein, if it is, I think it's their Christmas sale, so I assume it goes past Christmas. It does require a little bit of finagling with the resolution to get it to display the way you kind of want it to. Fair warning, it it was built like 10 years ago, so it's not, you know, super optimized for modern operating systems, but there's easy ways to get around it, like DX wind or shift window or other things like that to, to make it look the way you want it to look. And there's some really nice mods that make the, the maps and the icons look a little bit better. All right, so Norwich, or we lost another heavy cruiser this turn. That's great. Uh, yeah, CBs is what I use as well. All right. So, more naval fighting, another heavy cruiser lost by us, which kind of sucks. There's still even a bunch of troops in Russia, which is interesting, because as the Germans, you really don't have to do that. Uh, meanwhile, we got our airships. That'll be nice. We can use those for reconnaissance. We got two new marine divisions and a destroyer. I don't think I can really use the marine divisions in Japan. I mean, like, I in theory could, but, like, I don't think... Functionally, I've got a use for them there. So I'm actually going to put them in the Atlantic, and then I'm going to get those guys to England, and I'm going to try an invasion, I guess. In a little bit. All right, let's get this heavy artillery ashore. I can't get them up to full strength, I guess. Honestly, these guys have no real purpose of being there. <laughs> Let's operate these guys away. I don't even think a South African headquarters unit's going to help us at all. Um, all right, move this guy back here. Get any indication on enemy warships in the channel? No, not really. At least our light cruiser made it out of northern uh, Germany's waters. Okay. Not sure that the Americal Corps will make it to England. She may run into enemy shipping or enemy subs. Yep. Fuck. And we lost a core at sea to German subs. Well, we're going to have to escort that invasion force of that destroyer over there. At least it's got level 4 ASW tech. Lol, just another core lost at sea. No big deal. No big deal in a war that's been a disaster. Alright, bombard these guys. One better than three to one. I'll attack anyway. That was four to one, even worse. Well, I'm not going to attack twice. Just some good old statistics. I mean, when you lose as many men as I have, it's kind of all it is. Can we upgrade these guys? They're not even attached to a headquarter unit. Oh, 
Okay. We could try and invade, like, Norway or something like that. Try and liberate Norway. That's probably something we could actually succeed with, but I don't think it changes the course of the game at all. Influences their supply of iron a little bit, but... Um... All right, so that's that. Let's go back to India where we're fighting against the 14th Hungar Hungar the first Hungarian army. No supply. Okay. Good job, boys. Got it. Another Axis army destroyed here. We'll go after the Panzer Grenadier, the mechanized force there, next turn. Uh, meanwhile, these guys need to reinforce because they got shot up from the air. Uh, we'll pull these guys back. I think they can get more supply at Mandalay. Let's reinforce the air units here, here. So the enemy troops have seven morale in this hex, but my own armor has no supply, basically. Let's move these guys south. Let's move this headquarter unit into Osaka. All right, defensive artillery, blah, blah, blah. air against these guys. I should have done the air first. Alright, so... I guess we'll swap that armored unit out. Shattered and destroyed. Nice. Oh, shit. I can't even move in the next hex. Mm. I, was tr I would have been within one hex of Tokyo. All right. With our headquarters unit in Osaka, what's the supply going to look like on the next turn? Much better. But a damn mountain's in our way. So I think we're going to try and bomb or bombard these engineers into nothingness. Because that is the rail line, actually. So the right way to advance out of Kyoto is that rail line. Can these guys get up there? They can. So we'll pull this back here. We'll move this army back. We'll move these guys. Actually, can the airborne get there? Ooh, they could. Although the enemy anti-aircraft might have something to say about it. Let's try. Nice. Okay, so they did land. We'll get this Marine Division up here as well. We'll pull this 1st Marine Special Forces Division over this way to attack. Conga Force also will attack. The 3rd Rangers will attack. And wipe them out. Nice. So we got we landed, suffered some landing casualties here, but our supply situation in the next turn should look much better with Osaka with a headquarters unit. Um. Okay. So eight, eight, eight. Our air units have better supply, or a little bit anyway. Can reinforce these strategic bombers to full strength. Okay, so I do still have troops on transports. That is true. But we now have a two-front uh, front, I guess. <laughs> two-front front. front. Uh, and we're now adjacent to the western Tokyo district. Not the capital, but the, the district right adjacent. The problem is I can't bombard it from the air or from the from naval gunfire because the port's in the way. 
So I can't. I'm the only way to reduce its its um, entrenchment is going to be to use air against it from Iwo Jima and the Japanese home islands. So that's something we're going to have to do. But I do think we can probably wear it down over the next couple of turns, and I'm hopeful that Tokyo will fall before the end of the year. I doubt we'll get to Seoul. Maybe I should have put the U.S. troops on uh, on the west coast just to go after Seoul. I guess I could still do that. I could operate these guys to the west coast and then throw them on transports. Or apparently not. Um, to Salt Lake, to Beaver, I guess. That'll take a couple turns to get them over that way. I'm so inconsistent with my own, like, strategy that I don't know what I'm doing! Alright. Um, Soul can actually be amphibiously attacked from the sea, too. That's nice. Japan may fall if we take Tokyo. It is possible they move their capital to Seoul. That's the last place they could pull their capital back to, though. Uh, Nubratron, 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 thank you very much for the follow. All right, let's reinforce these aircraft. Reinforce the ship. To bombard the hell out of these, uh, Engineers, just look, they have so many fucking troops. Bombarding a headquarters unit might not be a bad idea either. Japan is just filled with unlimited troops. I can't believe the British don't have any options for long-range transports. It's quite annoying, actually. All right, let's throw these guys on amphibious transports. I should throw these special forces back on amphibious transports as well to try and flank and maybe take out some of this artillery or these other units flanking Tokyo so we can get a wider front. We really want more than one unit attacking directly. We probably want to eliminate these two units so then we can attack directly east. Italiota, thank you very much for the follow. Um... Alright, let's... I'm going to shift some of these. Next turn, I'll put uh, MacArthur into Osaka, and we'll move Geiger north. These guys should be able to reinforce next turn. Some of them, anyway. I would hope that Japan just surrenders when Tokyo falls, given, you know, the emperor and all that jazz, but I'm not sure that they will. And all that jazz. Okay. Six. There must be fighter interceptors on the coast. Um, all right, so we threw some troops on transports. Anything else that I'm forgetting to do this turn? They still have Brunei. I forgot about that. I need to purchase new units, but we already did over here, 
So, purchase. I can't build any more special forces. I've already maxed out of that. Building a whole bunch of infantry cores. So we've almost built our max infantry for the U.S. Uh, Great Britain. I guess we can build some paras. If I do want to try and do an amphibious landing, that would help. Okay. In theory, artillery would help if I can get off the beach. Hey, the Creeker, how you doing? <laughs> Sorry about the mispronunci n n mispronunciation there. No Ovatron? Is that, is that the right way to pronounce it? All right, uh, did we, we did China, didn't we? Or maybe I didn't, I think I forgot to do them. All right, let's attack these guys. Swap them with our special forces. All right, so we have successfully surrounded the 12th and 6th Japanese armies in China. Huzzah. Meanwhile, Germany's not at war with China, so thank God for that. Makes our western border secure. I didn't even think about that. We'll move this core back to get it back into action. And maybe we can destroy two Japanese armies in western China. Do a little bit of damage. Yeah, I like this game. It's, it's quite enjoyable. I've played, I've played it a fair bit over the last year or so, but I enjoy it a lot. Uh, I want to get back to the World War I game. They have a World War I strategic command game that I really want to play. Uh, again, I played it as the Central Powers in one, so I'm curious to see what it's like to play as the, uh, as the Entente. All right, so for the Chinese, they've got 279, so I think we'll purchase another army. I'd like to build another special forces, but it doesn't look like I have that option. Uh, yeah, we'll save the rest of the money. And I think that's going to do it for our turn here. So July 1946, two Chinese or Japanese armies are surrounded in western China. Um, the Burmese invasion is underway, although it's not getting a terribly far. The Japanese have brought in massive amounts of air power, though. So if the weather cooperates, they may brute force their way into eastern India. The German invasion of western India, meanwhile, is going very poorly. They lost a, Rome or a Hungarian army, a heavy tank unit, uh, and uh, they've ha suffered some damage to a Panzer Grenadier unit because they have no, there's just no easy way to supply logistics this over here. There's no supply centers around here. There's no railways and so I'm hoping my counterattack with Commonwealth forces might be able to regain some ground and some economic power in Iran, but we'll see. Um, in, in the European waters, the German subfleet is trying to attrit my navy down. They've destroyed two heavy cruisers, but we have done some damage to the Germans as well over the last couple of turns, destroying four or five naval warships. Their economy is so strong, though, that they're easily replacing their losses. Uh, and that's the situation right now in July of 46. Oh, and the invasion of Japan is slogging forward slowly. Uh, we are on the doorstep of Tokyo. Actually, we're one hex away from the western portion of the city. Uh, and so we will try and push in there next turn. Probably won't make it into there the next turn. What we really need to do is destroy these two units uh, so we can get a two hex front on Tokyo. But that's where we leave off at the end of this turn. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.